Hi, Senpai Manga to Madachi at ngayon galaro ko tayo ngayon ng letter part number 3 so ang nangyari nung sa my last part is yun nga no, si si Isabella is parang nagkakaroon na ng something na na about sa the letter yun nga nakita nila Hannah Wright and look right yung about sa letter ng binigay nila paperwork nagkaroon na ng house tour sa bahay and yeah, ano kaya ang mangyayari sa, sa ating sa ating is tatay ko sa si Isabella so ngayon papahinga muna siya para papahinga muna siya para sa something na kabat niya sa nangyari nga sa house basta yun <laughs> let's continue part number 3 part number 3 4 4 4 sorry sorry part number 4 so yun let's continue uh, let's go boy <clears throat> sorry for the lag okay so gana so, ito nga, no? Kailangan mo na magpahinga ni Isabella for now because of some weird shit na nangyari sa bahay. And yeah, Rose would handle things for now. <coughs> okay. She's... <coughs> excuse me, for the boys. She's gone... <coughs> she's gone before I can voice one word of complaint. Left with nothing else to do, I find myself drip drifting back to the foyer. A few visitors linger in the area, some really enjoying the afternoon sunlight streaming through the stained glass windows. Others can be seen admiring their priceless antiques decorating the room. One group of elderly scatters some waste across from me is occupied in a friendly banter about which one would cost more to buy. A little argument here and an occasional laughter and teasing there. I smile to myself. The conversation reminds me of what I've been missing these past few months. Rose is probably right. I do need a break. Maybe this afternoon's hangout will help. So, yeah. Now we're going to talk about the weird shit that happened in the house. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Speaking of, I should call Ash. Our bay hot bay ng bayan. <coughs> It's a few hours early from what I told him, but he did ask for a call once I'm done. Besides, I don't have a ride back. He offered, so I might as well take it. Libre na For bribing me to giving me one. Not that he'll ever accept the latter, personal convictions and all. Honestly, if there's something I find admirable in him, despite his tendency to annoy the hell out of me, it's that. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Well, whatever way it works, a free ride is still a free ride. Can't take those. Libre. There's Rose's offer too, but despite what she says, I know she'll be busy for the first of the afternoon, especially without me assisting. Bothering her for a few people as small as this is the last thing you want to do right now. A couple of minutes and a few prayers asking for a decent signal later, and the call finally connects and... Shit! Go Bob Ash from Deluxe City! Baggers, watch out! Can't beat me! Looking for trouble? Better not lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Sup, Bob Ash from Deluxe City. Oh, Baggers, watch okay. out! Can't beat me! Looking for Damn, trouble? Son. Better not Look lie. Rides, I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for Insta an dead. Asian guy. Sup, Bob Ash Shit, from how loud is this thing even? Baggers, watch out! Can't beat me! Looking for a trouble? Better not lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Sup, Bob Ash from the Lux City. Back as one jack. Can't beat me. Looking for trouble? Better not lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Sup, Bob Ash from the Lux City. Back as one jack. Can't beat me. Looking for trouble? Better not lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Sup, Bob Ash from the Lux City. Back as one jack. Can't beat me. Looking for trouble? Better not lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Sup, Bob Ash from the Lux City. Sup, but they don't need to see his face to know who's back is. Watch out. Can't beat me. Oh, Looking for trouble? Better not lie. Everywhere. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Sup, Bob Ash him. from Deluxe City. After what happened today, I'm really Can't not in the mood to deal with Looking this. For trouble? Of Better all the times to... I'm a cool dude. Ashton Frey! <sighs> what happened next is something I'll surely regret later for having not recorded. <laughs> Ah, he jumps, lets out an undignified yell, followed by his bone po po slipping out from his grip. <coughs> okay, so. <laughs> he bounces from one hand to the other in his poor attempt to catch it, but ultimately falling flat on the floor with a resounding clack. Uh, I kind of feel sorry for the poem, but 
me and the floor <laughs> but it's not every day that you can catch someone like ash of course and get a reaction damn you stupid detective senses i'll take every ounce of victory i can get no matter how small ha <clears throat> an awkward pause passes between us a blink <coughs> and a cup <clears throat> He makes a pace, and then, in a too quick motion, he ducks and retrieves his abused gadget, but the queen threatens to break up from my lips. He doesn't make me eyes when he straightens, but the plush has scrubbed up his neck and cheeks. <laughs> in another universe where we haven't known each other for five years and suffering crew, his teasing isn't a day-to-day -day occurrence. Chances are, I find it adorable. Mm, I ship this. Endearing even. Asha Bella, I think? <laughs> Unfortunately, this isn't that kind of world. The way things are, I'm already content to see him out of his obnoxiously calm and collected disposition. Hello to you too, scaredy cat. I could stand to be greeted like a normal person, you know. <laughs> Asho. What? And miss that look on your face? <laughs> no way! Oh man, I should have taken a picture. I am so honored you find this funny. Is that how you treat your guests? I think I need to talk to your supervisor. Talk to yourself? You aren't even a guest here. What are you doing here in the first place? <laughs> For a moment, he looks like a cat that swallowed the canary. Suddenly, checking every nook and crying in his palm for any damage or scratches seems to be a more interesting activity than explaining himself. Ash. I could be looking to buy a house. A mansion? <laughs> yeah, why not? Did you see the view outside? It doesn't look haunted to me at all. He's messing with me. Ashton, I am not in the mood. What are you doing here? He chances a glimpse at some point behind me. The parlor? Curious, I follow his gaze, but before I can figure out what has caught his attention, he places a hand on my shoulder and turns me back to face him. I just finished working on something, so I dropped by. I still don't see how his work has anything to do with why he's here. At my confused look, he drops the hand resting on my arm like he has touched something particularly hot, and casually rubs the back of his neck. <clears throat> and I, uh, I said I'll see if I can pick you up. Turns out I can. Uh, free time and all. Ah, cute. So here, here I am. Uh, figured you'd still be busy, and so I roamed around for a while. Oh, you should have mentioned that sooner. I was about to throw you out. Throw me? Hey, I was given a pamphlet. I think that makes me a legitimate client. We have mandatory sign-in sheets for clients, Ash. I didn't see your name on it. And you can't just roam around because it says open house. Normal people actually follow an etiquette here. Right, okay. I think I'll just go ahead and... No, wait. I wasn't really going to throw you out. Rose said... <laughs> Never mind. I was just about to leave anyway. Wait, what? Now? Something must have shown in my face because he bosses and gave me a long, hard stare. Sometimes I forget how easy reading people is for Ash. Give me how he often looks as if everything around him is a... is a... Sure. <coughs> Excuse me. I avoid his eyes, hoping he'll drop the subject and won't ask any more questions. The last thing I want is to tell him what happened, especially that part about the letter. In fact, he's the last person on earth I'll ever think about telling it to if I can help him. Sure, he's a dependable guy. God knows how many times he has helped me, even without me asking for it. But stuff like ghosts and the supernatural? He'll never believe ghosts, even if he or he be oh, excuse me. Even if he hears it from a friend, except maybe if it's Becca. On a good day, the most harmless thing he'll do is give you an explanation on why those things have no chance of ever being real. At worst? He's insufferable. He'll poke fun at you at every single chance he'll get. Asho. What did I ever do to him? He never does that to Becca or Zack. I can already imagine how things would go into the moment I spill over what they saw. Nope. Over my dead body. 
Excuse me. Blurp. 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 The boy catches his attention. I shoved the letter deep into my bag. What's wrong? Nothing. Uh, let's just go. Doesn't look like a nothing to me. We still have Zack's movie tonight, remember? Oh, yeah. It's still do. early. And didn't you say your shift will end around five or six? What about... Hey, Isabella, wait up! Automatic with a sign. The rush of air greets me as soon as the main door opens. Not the usual autumn drop, but it's still a welcome change for the stippling atmosphere inside the mansion. Ash's footsteps are quick behind me. He calls out once, twice. Oh, sorry for the greeting the below bus na parang wait up. Hold on. Sorry, sorry. <coughs> Ash's footsteps are quick behind me, the sole of his shoes thumping hard against the polished concrete in an awkward cadence as he rushes rushes to catch up. He calls out once, twice. Uh sorry, may low bus dito na parang update yan, that's right. The mansion still looms in the background. Whispers calling me back, shadows beckoning. I don't like this, I don't like this. Is she doing it again? No. Oh. Help me. That's kitty. I don't look back. Oh my god. It's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. We spend the ride. Back. Oh my God, my voice. <coughs> we spend the ride back to Luxembourg City. In the <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> sorry, sorry. 